What's up you ILS Army and Moneymakers, welcome back to the channel. It's another that time of the year when we are trying to find out what ILS has been up to, whatever the revenue is. We are officially in Q3 on July 2nd and we heard yesterday from ILS that with a strong quarter behind us, we are confident that Q3 will bring the record revenue. So I'll be reviewing what exactly this tweet means what we can expect in terms of ILS, we will review what they have been up to from Q1. So what they did in terms of profit and loss statement. We'll also talk about WSFT. Why I like to keep an eye out for ILS is it's just not the ILS stock because if you think about ILS, it is at nine or 10 cents at the moment. Didn't really do a lot, but offered us with an opportunity to look further into WSFT and they, they did more than 10x. So if you keep an eye out, if you're watching my videos, we started covering WSFT from four, four cents and we went all the way to 43 cents. Does this look like similar to what happened to ILS from five cents to 51 cents precisely yes and which is why i'm keeping an eye out and i'm sharing this information with you in this particular video we'll also look into what wikisoft is up to what the balance uh, the the balance sheet for ILS is going to look like what it looked like in q1 2022 and we'll do some technical pointers and analysis as to where both ILS and WSFT can go. So with this all juicy, juicy and very interesting information, all I wanted to ask you is all you ILS army, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. If you're feeling extra happy, you made money from ILS, click on the thanks button or join button on YouTube and help the channel out as well. It does not really cost you a lot of money. If you're, want, if you're looking to do something for free, likes and subscribes are for free. We are looking for 250 likes because another great quarter is going to be announced by ILUS. Don't forget, this is an OTC traded stock, ticker symbol ILUS right here. It's on OTC market, one of a kind company. Started from half a million dollar revenue in Q1 2021 and by Q2 2022, I'll show you in more details that they're making in the million and they're booking millions of dollars in revenue and the store story is getting even juicier. So don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, whatever helps you if you're feeling extra happy today or the long weekend, click the join button on YouTube. It does not cost you anything, $2 and click the thanks if you really feeling you want you like this content now what's happening with ILS? nine cents we did not really have a great great week so did the market up four percent in last five days for one month we are still down 16 percent for six months we are down 70 percent and it's not only about ILS as i just mentioned but what ILS is talking about is strong revenue quarter behind us we are confident that q3 will bring the record revenue don't forget record revenue and they are also making sure that when the revenue grows their income grows their balance sheet grows as well and i'll show you how that grew from 19 million give or take to 34 million but bring record revenue in q uh, that confident that q3 will bring record revenue and the achievement of our biggest milestones a q2 summary with several highlights will be provided next week along with a new acquisition now if you remember ilas has been doing back and forth really really quickly becoming a strong merger and acquisition company they have been acquiring a lot of businesses that have proven track record with the revenue with the profitability and new acquisitions and with along with a new acquisition and business update video from jp backwell now we all know jp backwell is super bullish about making ILS a 100 million dollar revenue company year over year the company is expecting to acquire more than a hundred million dollar revenue company in 2022 and i'm looking i'm so looking forward to it another thing that you and i are both looking forward to it is at their ert uplisting and the acquisition from ERT that is happening with WSFT and the ticker symbol change. Now, what is their profit and loss statement looks like at the moment? So let's take a look. This was announced before a couple of months and I wanted to share with you that on January 
to March 2022, right here, they did $3.01 million in revenue, which is an ordinary income or expense income or revenue income, if you will, that they started in last year, 2021, for the first quarter, they did half a million dollars, $508,078.49 to be precise. From that, they jumped 6x in terms of the revenue, 5 times 6, 3 million, and the cost of good is 1.1 million compared to $300,000 that you can, you can imagine, and they made $1.8 million in gross profit, which is amazing because their gross profit looks super, super healthy with the expense of $1.2 million, and their ordinary net income was $636,000. Now think about it for a second. Last year, for the same period, they made only $73,000. And right now, they're making $636,000, which is 9x ordinary income. So their income grew 9x, but the revenue only grew 6x. So that's an exponential curve that I'm trying to talk about. As company makes more revenue, more in revenue, more in sales, more in ordinary income, if they're heading in the right direction, if their EBITDA is not skyrocketing, they are going to have better multiplier in terms of the profitability that you want to consider very, very thoroughly. And that's what I wanted to share information with you. With the net income of $636,000 for the quarter. So you want to keep an eye out. In terms of last quarter, they did almost 73,000, which was a fraction of 500,000 because the company was smaller. Now, what they're doing is Wikisoft became one of the buzz stock lately. Again, it's OTC traded stock. It's OTC QB. This stock went up from four cents to 43 cents. Another 10x opportunity that we got due to ILUS. And if you bought WSFT and if you're making money, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and support the channel by clicking the join button or clicking the thanks button. I'll really, really appreciate it. I put a lot of time, energy, and effort in building this videos. Now, I'm, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice, not buy or sell. This is simply what I'm trying to share with you, what I learned during my research. But if you take a look, 577% up just in last six months, especially it started the, the, the whole WSFT saga, Wikisoft saga started in May with six cents. We saw that it was going to spike up so fast and from eight cents, it went all the way up to 34 cents. So many people bought it around four or five cents, but since eight cents, I know many of my viewers and subscribers bought it seven, eight, nine cents. And from that price point, we saw almost, uh, almost, almost 5X return, $1,000 turned into $5,000, so on and so forth. Now, if you think about what this company is, they have, been, they, have been, they have been announcing a lot of updates lately. The recent update is they're going to change their name to Quality Industrial Corp just to match with the process of a ticker symbol change that they are looking forward to. Now, what this company is, if you think about this company, this is AI and ML. So AI stands for um, artificial intelligence, ML stands for machine learning. And what they do is they curate data, make it credible, make it reliable. Now you have tons of data when you think about IoT devices, Internet of Things devices, when you think about the trends, what is going on into the firearms technology, how, the, how people are making decisions that this all is captured within machine learning and artificial intelligence. What this company is going to do, or they are doing rather at the moment, is data curation, data making data credible and making data reliable, providing relevant and valid information to make informed financial and business decision for the key executive at a company. And now this is a trend, you might have learned it from Palantir and many other stocks, but in today's fast moving business world, increasing globalization, Wikisoft is leveraging big data. Now big data comes in so many ways. If you think about cloud, if you think about raw data, raw table, raw material, so it impacts every step of the way when you're trying to grow the company and it is associated with so much insights 
and data set and this company is trying to find out the performance and put that data in front of the executives in line with the new phase of globalization wikisoft believes that there is a growing demand for access for credible and accessible data for business and with that that data is essential for creating complete view of customers prospects investors suppliers partners and you think of anyone else vice presidents directors of the company who can then make informed business decision this is what wikisoft is doing and their vision is to create opportunities globally by collecting precise data curating that making more reliable and share that with the community now with that i just also wanted to touch upon what Ilas shared with us in terms of the balance sheet. Now, why this is important? Because we want to know that where Ilas stands, how much cash they have on hand. This is OTC stock. So there are going to be a little bit of ambiguity in terms of data. However, Alice has been doing a great job of sharing this data, not only with SEC or not only with OTC stock uh, uh, processes, but also, also with their shareholders investors and anyone that is looking further into buying in ILS or investing in ILS. Now, this is their balance sheet as of March 31st, 2022. Take it with grain of salt as to what I say, because this is, again, my research, my analysis, but you do your own due diligence with their current asset as of March 31st, 2022, 479,000 compared to almost $100,000 that they had in Q1 2021. Other current assets, 15.3 million compared to 3 million that they had Q1 2021. So their balance sheet was 3.1 million in terms of current asset last year in Q1. Now it grew to 15.8 million. Other fixed asset, 1.6 million. Other assets, 16.9 million, almost 17 million. That puts them up with 34.3 million dollars of total asset compared to 19.8 million that they had in Q1. So this is where I am saying that balance sheet grew from 19.8 million to 34 billion that you see right on my screen. They do have liability. 15.4 million compared to 4 million as any other business will do. So this is what I wanted to share. I'm more interested in learning about where their assets and their, where the balance sheet grows in Q2 and how fast it grew in Q2 2022 compared to Q1 to Q2 in 2021. I'm pretty sure that there, there is going to be millions of dollars of uh, updates that we are going to see very, very soon. And some of the projection that we are looking for in Q3 for ILS and ILS is just not ILS itself. There are multiple fold stocks. If you think about ERT, uplisting on NASDAQ or NYSE or any other major stock exchange, as ILS has been talking about, we look at WSFT. That was another opportunity for Dianx stock. So think about that way. At least I'm thinking that way as well. Think about the volume. This, their volume is lower because a couple of reasons, I think personally for myself, because people started trading in WSFT as well. People who traded in ILS, I do believe some of them, not all of them, but some of them are trading in WSFT as well. And that's why we see the volume spike in WSFT that I'll cover in next one minute. Now, ILS looking here, we are looking around 3 million more or less in volume for a daily basis. Take a look, 9 million, it dropped to 3.6, 3.5, 3.3, 3.3, and 2.799. Where the stock went from 8 cents, 8 to 20, we went almost, almost 9.90, so almost 10 cents. So there is uh, ups and downs in terms of the stock, and as the market was also fluid. If you take a look at this chart, this chart shows the moving average, and their moving average is 14 cents. If you take a look at this green bar, green uh, line right here, or 10 cents rather, sorry, 10 cents, 10 and a half cents while we are at 9 cents at the moment. So this may have an opportunity to go across that line of 10 cents right here. So 9 cents, it'll be 10 to 15% spike in terms of the price point if it moves in the right direction. Looking at this red bar, which is an RSI, not an overbought, not an oversold condition. I like to see 46 RSI because it's almost in the middle. But the important thing that I want to cover is Wikisoft. We have seen their volume dropped as well. Regardless of their volume, we started seeing the price went up. So 4.64%, take a look right here. How did we do in last five days? We went up 36%, such a massive spike in terms of the price point. 
13 cents price up from 35 cents, 36 cents. So if you take a look right here, we were at 36, 35 cents, went all the way to 47, 48 cents. And with that, we jumped 35% in just last five days. Think about it, guys. This is looking super, super juicy, at least to me. For last one month, people who bought the stock early last week, they made more money than in last one month people made when it started from 38 cents because of the speculation that we started seeing into the stock price. Now think about it, where we go from 20 cents to 47 cents. So it's never like you missed out on anything. You always get an opportunity because we went to 33 cents. And if you take a look at my previous videos, 35 cents rather, if you take a look at my previous video, I've been covering this stock pretty closely and we talked about 20 cents and from 20 cents, we went to 47 cents. Now, if you made money that way, you only make money when you sell a stock so do you do you do yourself a favor and try to figure out your own exit strategy that's how you make money i'm not saying you sell or i'm not saying you buy but find out your best exit strategy that best suits for you now if you take a look right here see the way it jumped it jumped way above their moving average their moving average is 18 19 cents and they're looking at 45, 47 cents. Now, can it go down? Probably it may go down a little bit, but there is one big catalyst and one more buzz stuff coming up. Their sticker symbol change. That's number one. Number two, ERD is going to, they already have the controlling block of Wikisoft WSFT and ERD is going to get uplisted on one of the bigger stock exchange as JP Backwell tells us. So there is another big catalyst that you want to keep an eye out for. I hope you like this video. If you did, hit the like button. I hope you like this content. If you did, hit the subscribe button. Help support by clicking join button and or the thanks button on YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.